Welcome to the next installment of my video lecture series on economics. And in this particular video lecture, I'm going to be addressing a portion of a homework assignment from my introductory microeconomics course at Rowan University. And as it, you can see here, hi, the highlighted part, this is part two of the homework assignment from homework assignment number one. So we are assuming constant opportunity costs. Graphically illustrate a PPF for computers on the x-axis and cell phones on the y-axis. Illustrate the changes to the PPF given the following scenarios on two separate graphs. A, a decrease in the level of technology, and B, an increase in the capital stock. Clearly explain your reasoning for all parts of your graph. So make sure you realize that when I'm asking you to explain your reasoning, um, one thing is that you can describe what's going on in the graph, just telling me this is what I did. But also, an explanation is, is the reasoning why something is occurring. So make sure you understand those two separate points. At, at one level, you can just describe what's going on. But on top of that, I'm going to ex explain, uh, expecting students to provide an explanation as to why something particularly is occurring. So let me move my OmniGraph Sketcher program in here. And the first part stated that we have a production possibilities frontier that exhibits constant opportunity cost. So then let me, oh, let me label that. So we have a PPF. And since we're changing something, we will want to make it, uh, let me put that subscript in there now. So this is going to be PPF zero. And let me go over to here. I think I have to go edit um, font subscript. And let me change the size and the distance on here so it's easy for everyone to see. So that is PPF zero right there. That's our original production possibilities frontier. This PPF exhibits constant opportunity cost because the slope of the production possibilities frontier is the opportunity cost. And since a straight line has constant slope, therefore this straight line exhibits constant opportunity cost. So make sure you give an explanation as to what's the difference between increasing in constant opportunity costs and how that impacts the shape of the PPF. So again, I need to look back to see what, what I need to do here. A decrease in the level of technology. So how is that going to impact the PPF? Well, there's a technology is sort of, some people refer to it as the recipe for using labor and capital in a production process. So if that knowledge is lost, what that means is that we don't know the best ways to produce output given the level of capital and labor that we have in this particular economy. So that means that given the level of capital and labor that we have, we are going to be able to produce less output with that given capital and labor, which means that the production possibilities frontier is going to shift inward. So let me see if I can copy that. How about that? Successful. And let me change the subscript there. So I know that this is PPF0 and this is PPF1. Also, if you like, you could draw an arrow in like that. No, we want it on the end of it. You could also do it that way if you like. So because of the fact that technology has been lost, we don't know the appropriate ways or the most efficient ways to use capital and labor to produce this level of output. And because the technology has decreased, that means that we can produce left, uh, less than we could have prior to the loss of technology. Therefore, the maximum level of production has to be less than the maximum level of production prior to the loss of technology, meaning the production possibilities frontier shifts inward. The second part of this, and let me get rid of this, I don't want to say nonsense, but 
this uh, information here. So the second part, and let me take a look at it just to make sure, an increase in the capital stock. So if we increase the amount of capital that we have, that means we can produce more. So that's the important part of your explanation is that as the capital stock increases, that is going to allow me to produce more cell phones, and it's going to allow me to produce more computers. So the only way I can graphically represent that is to have a PPF that shifts outward. Okay? So we have a production possibilities frontier that has shifted outward, and I can cheat and copy and paste this and move it over. All right, so that's the new PPF. And as I stated previously, if you like, you could also put an arrow on here to show that the PPF has shifted outward. So make sure that whenever you do your explanation of this, you describe what's going on in the graph, but give an explanation. All right, so for example, when I say, when you're explaining why is this why is this PPF exhibit constant opportunity cost? In your explanation, state that the opportunity cost is measured by the slope of the PPF. And since this is a straight line, the slope is constant. It's the same regardless of where you are on that PPF. And then when you give an explanation as to why it shifted outward, give an explanation that with more capital that's available, that means the maximum level production of both of these items is increasing. So the PPF naturally has to shift outward to reflect the fact that with higher levels of capital, the maximum level of production of cell phones and computers is increasing.